Hello everyone, it's Joanna. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on the link. I post videos about plus size fashion, uh, beauty, skincare stuff, uh, vlogs and planner videos. You can see my craft uh, cart over there. So yeah, you're here because you want to see some of my 2020 uh, like random beauty tools, hair, favorites i've already filmed and shared my beauty favorites my skincare favorites i have my planner favorites and this one is things that are related to skincare and beauty but weren't actually creams or weren't actually makeup so i have things for your nails for your eyes i have hair care all those kinds of things so let's begin Okay, first of all, let's talk about the elephant in the room. If I look a bit orange, because my partner said I look orange in the beginning of the video, it's because of my top, because I think it's reflecting, so <laughs> that's why. All right, so let's talk about nails. First of all, these are nails, nail treatments, not so much nail varnishes. I have my favorite nail varnishes in another video but these are treatments for your nails so I think this was the biggest uh, discovery of 2020 like hands down I loved it if you have like nails that break easily you should really try the Orly Nail Trition it's a nail growth treatment this is amazing it makes your uh, nails strong and tough and they don't break. I wear compression stockings so I have to put a lot of strength when I'm pulling up the stockings. They're orthopedic. This really helps my nails um, you know, st st stay strong and yeah. The other thing because again of the <laughs> compression stockings whenever I wear and whenever I put nail varnish on my hands it's, it easily like gets messed up because I'm pulling and then I just wreck my nails. This has helped me a lot. It's a rediscovery. I used it ages ago and then I just repurchased and I thought, why did I stop buying this? It's the Sally Hansen Instant Dry Top Coat. That's it. And it is really, really good. It helps you, um, it helps your nails dry really quickly so i really like this product and then if you are if you have if you struggle with your vision like me uh you might and you want to do your nails on your own but i get it all over my skin so i think this is another good suggestion because it's very easy to use it's a corrector pen i got this off from boots the other two things you can find in I think Orly is at Superdrug and InstaDry is at Boots. Um, but this, you just take this little pen thing off and then if you have excess nail varnish on your skin, you just go with the pen and just correct it. Great, great discovery. Great invention of discovery. Okay, now let's move on to eyes. Again, if you struggle with your vision and you can't, do your own eyebrows. This is a channel for people who struggle with their vision, by the way. Like, I'm partially sighted, colorblind, all those things. So, lots of things I suggest have to do with dealing with those struggles. This is um, an eyebrow plucker. I think I need to do my eyebrows now that I'm saying it. And you just, it has this little thing here. And it swirls. And you, you use it around like the area you want to uh, take the eyebrow off it just it, it doesn't pluck it cuts it a little bit it's like a sh like shaves but it does not hurt at all and it's very easy to do you just need to keep your uh, eyelid straight and then you or someone else goes in with this it's very quick painless definitely try it what I have I got off Amazon I'll try to link it uh, in the description box Mine is called an eyebrow trimmer. This is the box. I'll link it in the description box just in case you want to check it out. So that is another suggestion. Now, since I'm talking about eyes, I'm going to move on to something which I got for therapeutic reasons. But it turned out to be something I enjoy using. So I am struggling with blepharitis, which is like an eyelash infection. That's why I'm not putting any eye, uh, eye makeup at all. So I was I was told to buy 
the dry eye hot and cold antibacterial compress that's the box this is it you put this in the microwave it heats up it becomes a little bit moist and then you put it on your eyes and it just helps your eyes rest and relax and if you are like I think it's really it's a really good way to just help your eyes rest and relax and if you are looking to do that especially now that everything is online and people are a lot of people are working from home or are sitting in front of their screen more than usual you might want to check these out so yeah it's uh, called it's from dry eye it's called what is it called it's called the eye doctor it's from the eye doctor I got mine from spec savers so that's that now let's move on to I'll finish off with hair to move on to another skincare tool which I love it's been really nice to use I got this from Amazon it's the I wanted to try the Luna Foreo, but I'm not going to spend $200 or whatever on it. So I found, uh, I don't know if it's a dupe or whatever, but it's a Sun May uh, leaf cleansing, facial cleansing brush. And first of all, it the battery lasts forever. I haven't charged it and I bought it in like summertime. It looks like this, has two sides. You press the button. And then it just starts. You can increase the vibration. I don't know if you can hear that. It goes really fast. And then you just go in with your skincare routine. You apply your um, skincare and then you massage it. I use this more for layering my skincare products, not for cleansing. So that might be something you want to try this for. I haven't used it to take off my makeup. So I don't know how it works for that, but in terms of, you know, um, applying your skincare and getting rid of puffiness, because I have puffiness in my face because of another health <laughs> condition, it really helps. So if you want to try using a skincare tool, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, you should check this one out. Again, I'll link this in the uh, description box so you can try it if you want. That's the other skincare tool I wanted to mention. Now, let's move on to two random things. Um, because I have dermatitis, eczema on my hands, I often have to put like uh, a, ski, a lotion, a very thick emollient lotion on my cream on my hands. So whenever I do that, I wear these gloves and I go to bed and they are bamboo spa gloves. So these are really good if you want to moisturize your hands during the night and you want this to uh, last and you want it to seal uh, the moisture in your hands and you don't want the creams to go all over the place these are really nice nice and soft they feel really comfortable they don't annoy you during your sleep and I got these from Boots and then since we have been in the COVID uh, era the masks that have helped me with and don't make my glasses steam are the ones I get from Superdrug these ones, they aren't as thick as they are supposed to be though. They are very thick material, but I don't think they're three ply. So I might have to change them later on. But if you can manage to filter the your face a bit more and then put this on, these don't steam up my glasses. So if you're looking for a mask, you can check this one out. Apparently it is good for covering. It is good for antibacterial and biological properties it is um yeah so you might want to check these out these are reusable you can wash them and they wash really well so yeah and then what else can i talk about oh another thing that i loved this year if you're struggling with your sleep and you want a nice atmosphere i think you should check out the deep sleep pillow spray this smells amazing I really like it I, I spray it all over the bed and all over my pillow and then I just sleep and relax and I'm really happy now moving on I will talk about what I use for my hair I bought this during lockdown and it has been a, a savior it dries my hair really really quickly it's the Babyliss um, uh, hair dryer I love this brand 
it, it takes like my hair just sucks the moisture and it doesn't let it go so my hair is always really wet and it takes a long time to dry this has reduced the time I need to dry my hair so I'm really happy with it if you're looking for a new hair dryer I'll link this in the description box so you can check it out now in terms of straightening my hair I haven't done a very good job today because I was lazy sorry I'm leaning over so I can get my straightener but this is one of my favorite straighteners I got it as a Christmas present last year I've been using it all year the thing I like about it is that it has a very wide plaque here so you can hold a lot of hair and just straighten it so it, it, this again is babyliss and quite affordable I think it's like 25 pounds if you are looking for and it goes up quite a bit like the heat heating uh, thermometer goes up a lot so if you're looking to buy something to straighten your hair you should check this out I've my bought it my friend has bought it we both love it I think it's a really good hair straightener and finally two hair care products I think I got this at the beginning of the year I still haven't finished it I really like it it's the Philip Kingsley finishing touch this is a polishing serum and it smoothens it makes your hair not be too frizzy you just need to put a little bit on your hair and it's fine it doesn't weigh down your hair it doesn't make your hair feel oily it is expensive this is about 20 pounds but i've had it all year so because you don't need a lot so if you have frizzy hair and you want to put a product on your hair that will make it straight but it won't weigh your hair down check this don't use too much though if you do use a lot it will make your hair like weigh and be like greasy if you just put a little bit it straightens it no frizz amazing and finally a product that makes my hair shiny and I really like it I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I will spray a bit here it just feels really nice smells nice gives a nice shine to your hair it is from it is from uh, Charles Worthington it is the shine booster you can get this at Boots and I really like using it especially when I have a little bit of frizz it is a little bit oily but it doesn't like mess your hair so that's what I like about it um, and it just makes your hair a little bit more shinier so these are the products I liked if you have any suggestions about random beauty tools and skincare tools and things like that, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I am at My Pink Rambles on Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow me and I'll follow you back. I have a blog called My Pink Rambles. And yeah, if you would consider subscribing, that would be great. Maybe give this video a thumbs up so I can show up in your YouTube recommendations. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.